I'm Robert Field, and I am fishing my way across Mississippi, bouncing between state parks in my RV and checking out all the best fishing holes, cultural hotspots, and delicious eats along the way. This time, we're heading out into the Gulf of Mexico with Captain Ron to chase down huge schools of bull redfish and Jack Raval in open water. And we'll be using dolphins to aid us in our search. Then, after enjoying the beach vibes around Gulfport and Biloxi, we're heading to Ron's to make fish cakes out of shark meat and grill up some redfish. It's real good. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. All right, up and at them before the sun. Got about a 35-minute drive over to Gulfport to Jones Park, actually where we kayak fished last year with Matt Mitchell and those boys. Gonna meet up with Captain Ron, get on the boat, hopefully get in some fish. I think we're both a little tired. This Mississippi trip's always kind of a blitz. <laughs> Some of my messings. I usually don't always. I usually make the making safety stuff. <laughs> well, that covers it all. Um, this will be boring for a little while till I can find the fish or we or the boat or something can find it. But once we do, it'll go from being boring to a Chinese fire drill real quick. <laughs> um, what we're doing today is pulling for the big bull redfish with the trolling gear. There's no bait on this boat other than that. Um, this is what 85% of our charter boats down here do this time of year. Little boats do the, the trout, the smaller stuff, and the bigger boats are kind of limited to pulling lines or anchoring up and showing and stuff. But if y'all are ready, we'll get underway. I think we are. Morning, good bug. Are they just are they getting bait in there? Or are they fishing? Oh, bait. bait. All right, so we just kind of got out here. We got some birds working, so we're gonna go ahead. And slow down deploy the lines we got cj here first mate deploying these lines they're basically spoons on some weighted rigs we're going to be dragging around for these redfish now audio might be a little tough today we're going to have the motor running most of the day but it's going to be all right i think we're going to get on some fish captain ron basically said you know this may be boring for a little while until we find the fish but then once we do he says it's going to be like a chinese fire drill it's going to go off we're going to we're going to hook up potentially more than one fish at once So what these planers do, I mean, even though we're turning, you know, this line's going straight back, this line's crossed over, this line's right here, but it keeps them all separated so we can make sharp turns and not get this all tangled mess. Thank you for the help. All right, so we got a report of some fish a little ways away, so we just reeled in all the lines. And we're gonna make a move to a different area. Team yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Alright, so Captain Ron here works with a few other captains and they're all kind of communicating, helping each other out, we're all working together. And one of the captains who actually kind of learned under Ron, he's found a good pot of, of redfish and they're busting on top. We're hoping they'll hold till we get there. We're almost on them. Alright, got to our next area and CJ's deploying the lines again. So pretty interesting, you know, normally when I'm inshore fishing, if you see dolphins, you go the other way. Those dolphins make a lot of the smaller fish inshore, redfish and speckled trout, nervous, because they eat them. Out here, Captain Ron's saying that they follow the dolphins out here, because these bigger bull reds and the jacks will actually kind of hunt alongside or underneath these dolphin pods, which is really interesting, because in Panama, we do the same thing for yellowfin tuna. You find the dolphins, and typically you find the yellowfin tuna, so. Pretty cool, we're a long way from Panama, but kind of using a similar strategy. We have found the dolphins and they're, they're looking fired up. We're hoping there's some bull reds underneath them. <laughs> CJ's 
seeing bait, we're seeing birds, we're seeing the dolphins. Now we're just waiting for, waiting for the first hit. Fish on, fish on. There it is. Do I need to go around the outside? Oh yeah. He was just way out there. First fish on. I can't hear you. He's coming. We're turning hard. Try to keep up with it. Oh, oh yeah, he's pulling. <laughs> Drag now. Whew. Golly, look at that. Ribbon drag off. It's gotta be a pretty good fish. This is heavy gear and he ain't coming in quietly. He's coming in now. Big solid fish. Come on, Rob, what you waiting on? <laughs> this is heavy gear. Yeah, You're fighting it for this long, like, I was thinking this was gonna be over easy. and done with. Rip them up. Oh, oh man, it. that's a good one. I think he just crossed over that. That's a big red. I'm sweating now. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I am, and I'm just filming it. Oh, another one. Oh. 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 Golly. Heavy gear, I thought that was gonna be easy. We're just gonna rip them up. That's not at all what just happened. That thing was working me. Man, beautiful. All right, so here in Mississippi, you can keep one overslot red a day per person. So that guy's gonna be dinner. We need, we need more friends to feed with that fish. Yeah, man. Hey, Phew. good stuff, dude. <laughs> that thing worked me, man. Sweat now. Fish on! Fish on! Go, Robert! Go ahead. Go ahead. Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Whenever he's running, let him run. Alright. Oh no, it just popped free. It popped free. Yeah. Alright, I had another hit and Brooks jumped on it, but fish popped off before he got a chance. Didn't, didn't, didn't break the hook. With the hook either. Yeah. No. Yeah. I was, they just come on. I was just too strong. Yeah. Like, leaned into him a little bit. That might have been it. That's one theory. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, they're they're still here. They're still on them. There's one. There's one. Yep. Well, who's up? Mike's up, isn't he? You want it? it. Don't go and get it. Grab it. Pass it off. There's another one. No, no, you got it. You got it. Come on. Another one? Where? Hot and heavy. Oh, here. This, one? this one was, I think it came off. But keep an eye on it, it may come back too. Uh oh. Yeah. This one here. I think it'll be alright. I see it, Mike. Nice redfish. Nice redfish. Alright, doubled up again. We got Brooks on. We got Mike Jones on. Mike Jones from Visit Mississippi. Mike's got a nice redfish, I already saw it. <laughs> we own them. So we got a little weight on it. Ooh, look at that gold. Golly. They growing big here. Uh-oh. Yeah. Try to get some oh, color over here, hopefully. That's a big one. Look at this. Oh. They are so pretty. Oh yeah, another one. Oh, oh. Woo! Golly! Daddy! 
Man, that thing's got some shoulders on it. Look at that. Another wow. rat. Another rat? There it is. Come on, baby. Oh, oh. screaming off line. Uh-oh. We gonna let that ride. There, there, we go. there you go. Pretty one right there, guys. Man, they're all so pretty, man. They're all lit up. <laughs> this one's angry. Yeah, he is mad. <laughs> He's crashing. Well, hurry up, man. We gotta get this double up picture. What are you, what are you waiting on, man? Yeah, uh-huh. Who was that I was taking forever earlier? Nice. That line, it would have came right out. Just saying, I didn't, I didn't slack them. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, you did great, great. Man, look at that. Yeah, you know what they say, Brooks, size does matter. <laughs> Hold up, one more photo. Awesome, guys. So here's one of the boats that Captain Ron's talking to, they're all kind of working together and they're hooked up right now, right next to us. There it is. Woo! Real, real, real. Tight. There you go. Oh, it's going crazy. Oh, big old red. Stop pulling her overboard. Another one, another one, another one. You wanna get it? Doubled up. You gotta kinda of pull back. There you go. Doubled up. We got my Uh oh, third one. Third one. Go ahead, Robert. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice red. Nice red, Laura. Oh man, screaming out line. <laughs> Look at that. Nice, guys. Man, Mike's screaming out. Uh, There's chaos everywhere. Yeah, man. Just tripled up. Laura's got hers in, nice red. I got a feeling mine's a red fish. We don't know about Mike's. He's been screaming off line. He said that when it turned on, it was going to be on when we found him. And I'd say we found him. I think Mike's got the big fish here. Oh, getting close now. I don't think mine's that big. Still kind of kicking my butt. But seen it hey, yet. Mike, you still got a lot of line out. It's a redfish, yeah. It's colored up good. Nice. I mean, none of them are small. I need another arm. I need another arm. <laughs> nice. Whew. That's one of those when you get done with the fight, your fingers are still like curled up. All right, Mike's getting closer now. Oh, it just came? Oh, came off? Just you're popped off. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, boy! Oh, man. Oh, no. We don't even get to see what it is. Right close to the boat. It popped off. Did it break it or just popped off? Just popped off. Man, that was a good fish, too. That was a good fish. Thank you. That's why they call it fishing and not catching, right? I mean, God, that hurts. That's <laughs> breaking your heart. I wanted to see what that was. Well, there's another great redfish here with Captain Ron. Phew! The suckers pull. Good work, buddy. Strong fish. That's a good time. Good work. Sorry, fish. Good. All right, we're gonna throw this one back. We got plenty of fish. Choo! I mean, if they're chasing something, yeah. It just hooks them like maybe around the edge of the mouth or a thinner piece and just rip them. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. God. There we go. Fish on. Brooks is on it. Something good. Screaming out line. We got a little bit of a. Yeah, we got six other lines we gotta kind of avoid, dodge. I think, I think this one's a jack. A big, a big jack. Oh my 
Some good. Some good. Oh, dude, that was. Yeah, that thing was taking off. Yeah, stay oh. with it. It might swing. There he is. Oh, there he is. Do you see it? Does it looks silver. I can't really see. There you go, pop right, free. So under, 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 under. There you go. Thank you. You got a jack on, by the way. Looks like a jack revol this one, not a redfish. Woo! One they, of the hardest fighting fish in the ocean, pound They get pound. sideways. Yeah. Woo! Like right now, I can tell he's just leaning sideways <laughs> in that, with that drag. Once you get that planer all the way up, I'm going to get yep. you to start walking. Okay. Keep on coming up. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. I don't want to lose the fish because I'm trying to film it, so. Go over top of this one. Big old Jack. Dude. <laughs> screaming line yeah. on. Yeah. Look at that. Careful, man. He's got, he's got, they got sharp things on the tail, man, over here, you know? Yeah. Yes, they do. I've cut my hands many a times. I will take thing. the guy's advice. Yeah. He still, he still got a little fight in Still fighting. That's a quick Jack fight. Look at this. Massive Jack Revol. For Brooks here, that's a tank. He's still got a lot of fight left. Still fighting. Shoo! That was a big fish. That's definitely my biggest jack. That's your biggest jack? Oh, yeah. New PB. New PB. All right, out. so we're not keeping the jack of all. We're going to let this fish go. That's a monster. Shoo! Ready? One of the fastest fighting fish. That one's a workout. Yeah. Nice fish, bud. Thanks. Hey, good job. Appreciate it. So you don't have to like do it again. It. Let's do it again. All right, guys. Well, not even midday yet, but we're going to call it good. We got a cooler full of giant redfish. We let a few go. Got the nice jack. The activity's kind of slowed down, and it is hot, you guys. There's no wind. About as nice of condi calm of conditions as you could ask for. But we're gonna pack it up. We're reeling up the lines now. We're gonna head into Goldport. We gotta clean these redfish. And then we're gonna cook them up for you guys. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet, but we'll see you guys at the filet table and then after that at the kitchen. But killer day, just hot and heavy, crazy action. Let and everybody see, got a piece of it. Let me see in there one more time. Let me see in there. Yeah, yeah. Me up. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's a lot of redfish. Big boys. Yeah, hey. that thing's huge. Man. Yeah. That was that was Mike's, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Mike, you went from zero to hero, man. I think you got the biggest Dude, one. What you, I mean, it's over 40 inches, right? Oh, like, for sure. Great day. All right, time to clean some fish. I'll probably go take a shower. We got fish to clean? Hot. We got a few fish to clean. Do we? These will definitely be the biggest redfish I've ever cleaned. All right, so now Captain Ron's gonna clean these big old red fish. He said that the trick that he's found is using a serrated knife to clean these big reds. I always say you need a real stout knife because of the thick scales on these redfish, but I'm not ever cleaning reds this big. He said serrated is the way to go. Now he's making quick work of them already. 
It's like you've done this before. Oh, you know, got kind of slow mo. <laughs> Go for it, Piranha. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh no, that's the, the one they were snacking. Look at all these cats. There's like hundreds of them. All right, guys, super fun day yesterday fishing with Captain Ron for those gigantic bull reds. Had an absolute blast. Now, today we were supposed to go back out with Captain Ron, but this time, mother shipping our kayaks. Brooks and I were going to drop our kayaks in, try to get, get ahead of these porpoises and catch some of those giant reds from our kayaks. But unfortunately, the weather did not allow us to get out. It's been storming all morning. So instead, Captain Ron said, hey, how about this? How about you guys come back to my place and we'll grill up some of these redfish that we caught. I'll show you how we like to cook them up. And we thought that was a pretty good compromise. So we're heading there now. We're about to be there here in just a couple minutes. We're gonna cook them up with Ron and his wife, Pandy. I think it's gonna be a treat. Now I'll tell you this, I've only ever eaten bull reds, big reds once. And it was pretty good, but I'm curious to see how these two wanna cook them up. I think Mike and Laura Jones from Visit Mississippi are gonna join us as well. Should be a good time. I think the food's gonna be good. But we'll see, we're gonna be there in about two minutes. Hey, what are you doing, Scudder Buck? How you doing? Good, 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 good. Hey, good to see, see you, you Same here, same here. Oops, sorry. How are you? Good. Good. Like, good. Thanks, for, thanks for having us. The big surprise is Tandy made y'all. You and I talked about it. Y'all talked about it. This is mock crab cakes made out of ah, sharks. Ah, shark cakes. Shark cakes. We call them mock crab cakes. I'm shark excited. Cakes. Mock crab cakes. We talked about this on the phone before we even got here. We talked right. about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do have a sauce that I made. They call it pea sauce. We call it pea sauce for Pandy. Pea sauce. Pea sauce. Pandy sauce. sauce. I like it. They smell delicious. It does smell really it's good. Soft. Yeah, yeah. And I've said on my show historically that if you got fish that you're not so sure, make cakes out of it. This is going to be good. You can't mess it up. And now Laura is the pickier eater oh of the Lord, bunch. Oh my Lord, that's delicious. It's good? <laughs> that sauce is unreal, but the crab cake is good too. Uh, the shark, shark cake. cake. Shark cake. Shark cake. Shark cake. That is delicious. I'll tell you, I'm Laura. Mock crab cakes, and I am picky. I am. Laura picky. is the pickier eater of the four of us, I would say. I and if she likes it, well, you're safe because we're all gonna she's like it. In touch with her taste buds. Yeah. Yes, very. She is in touch so, with her taste buds. Well put. This this means it's. Good. It must be what really sauce good. Is that? that sauce is really good. That's, that's the pandy sauce. That's pea the pandy pea sauce. sauce. Pea sauce. That's the, the boys nicknamed it pea sauce. Pea sauce. Comeback sauce. Come back. Come back. The key should come mm, back. That's better than come back, maybe. That's yeah. It's yeah, got that's papers. Does it have papers in it? Oh, no, that's the move in no. sauce. You don't come back, you just move in. You just move in. <laughs> there it is. The move in sauce. Mm. The house is for sale, by the way. <laughs> that's really good. What y'all don't so know much. is if it was bad, it would come it, back up. It doesn't stay in the mouth. Oh. So you let her taste it first to see how the king's right. the king's something that would like taste the food first. Oh yeah, they want to make sure the food wasn't yeah, poison. wasn't poison. Oh, yeah. wow. That's really good. Good. Fantastic. Yeah. Shark man. That will be a steak. That's down. not at all. Oh man. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's not at all. That's good. You don't even say what they are. You just throw them out there. You want some crab cake for I say, all right, with the pea sauce. I say, you, know it's, sauce. you know it's good because it's in the mason jar. Exactly. <laughs> so let's try this. I always say fish cakes is what you do with the less desirable fish. And shark is pretty good, but probably not top of the list. And so cakes makes a lot of sense. Let's try it. It's going to be real embarrassing now if I hate it. There's no way. <laughs> oh, it's, fan, it's fantastic. That's <laughs> good. It's good. And that sauce is. That's what you messed up. Not that put, sauce is something special. Not putting the sauce over the top of it. 
that cake, it's got like the crust on the outside. That to me is what makes a good fit. You gotta cook it to where it's got that hard crust on both sides. Absolutely. Soft on the inside. The sauce is out of this world. Miss P sauce. Can't beat this. That's good. Okay. You gotta tell me the secret off camera then for sauce. sure. Secret to everything in the south. That's really good. Ooh. That's the one. <laughs> Don't put it if I do. Should I just throw it in here? Yeah, just dump it. <laughs> put a straw in there like a milkshake. There you go. Yes. Is that a dollop? Yep. Is that the proper? We got to put the, the bite up there for the people. <laughs> what were you going to say? It's delicious. It's so good. Would have never thought shark, ever. Yeah, you would not guess shark. No. <clears throat> On who wants to be a millionaire, I would have had to phone a friend, a lifeline, and still would have got it wrong. It's delicious. There's yeah, right there. I, was, I was thinking, I was like, that's a lot of cake. We could probably just be good on that. That is good. But I am going to have a was. You got some vegetables. Yeah, totally. Nice thing about living on the river, put your scraps out. Throw your scraps right out there for the catfish and raccoons. That's right. Get a few more Miller Lights, I could probably cut them a little thinner. <laughs> What's that called? Ronnie's. It's pretty good. Knock you out the door. Ronnie's. Seems legit. It was good with the grilled thing. To me, vegetables are about five times better when they're grilled. I like that char, a little bit of that smoky, but yeah, that's gonna be good. So one thing in my experience with these bull reds with the big red fish, typically the meat quality is gonna be a little less and you gotta do a little bit of work. So with these bull reds, we need to trim out some of the red meat and just keep kind of the white parts. Captain Ron here, he's gonna, he's gonna trim these down, kind of clean them up a little bit. It does not have to be perfect. Sure. What wants a garlic buttery flavor to it? Garlic and herb. Garlic and herb. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. This is an old habit. I always cook my veggies first. Those already look good, man. That's going to be tasty. All right, veggies are done. You don't want to cook them to death. What, what is this here? Oh, okay. That is butter and, and my wife's wisdom. She put a little bit of olive oil to keep them from getting coagulated. Okay. What are you going to do with that? Once we get this to a certain point on this grill, we're gonna mop it. Mop it. You got it. I like it. Yeah. Well, I cooked the fish a little bit rare oh, and she freaked out. I'm like, no, it's yeah, just well, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, I think uh, most people overcook their fish in general. I, I do too. Everything. I do too. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on it. Oh, that's the money there. Yeah, it is the money right there. And that is real butter too, by the way. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like real butter. Another thing good about the butter, it's gonna draw the flames up to it. Give it a little line's char on it. A little char on it. And that's gonna be good. So Captain Ron's saying with these big bull red fillets are thicker than kind of your average fish fillet. And so he likes to start off with high heat and then you reduce that heat and make sure that center gets cooked. You don't want to char it too much, but at the same time, that butter is gonna kick that flame up a little bit and get you that nice crust on the outside. So start with the high heat, then kick it down a notch with these big, thick fillets. It smells amazing. He's mopping it, in his words, with butter. Can't go wrong. This is going to be good. Captain Ron is checking the fish. You think it's there? We are there. We are All there. right. Oh. When it's falling apart, you there. Oh, it looks great. It is like a steak. That's great. And it looks good. Butter nerve, you can put it, you can put it on a turkey. Yeah, that's good. right. <laughs> that's right. All right, y'all. Redfish is served, and now that's a platter of fish right there. That's a lot of meat. There we go. This right side's a little spicier. Left side, mild. All right, y'all. We're gonna try this out. Cut us off a piece. I'm getting the spicy version. Got kind of the tail end here, nice and crispy. Get some of these veggies. And I guess I'll just 
Help thyself. <laughs> We got potatoes too, but I'm not even gonna mess with that yet. Let's just try this fish. So this is kind of an end piece. Probably a little more done than the rest of it, but it's gonna have that same good flavor. It's like meat. It, it, it tastes like it's got a good hearty bite to it. That's great, man. Nice spice to it. Clean, white. Look at that. That's delicious. Hearty, you can do anything with it. Throw it right on the grill. You can fry it. It, it holds up well. It's not like speckled trout where it kind of gets mushy. I feel like you could freeze that and it'd be just as good when you unfreeze it. That's good. The vegetable's got a little kick. That Ronnie's got a little kick. Ronnie's got a little kick. It's good. It's real good. I like that. Well, I guess I'm going to make a plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit it up. You got extra butter right here for the potatoes. Yep. Oh, it does have a little kick to it. Yeah, I like it. Y'all want to warm anything up? I'm ready for it. That's what it does. It's got like a meat texture. Yeah. That's good. It's good. Great flavor. Nice clean flavor plus that seasoning. A little kick. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Well, that's going to do it for our second annual tour across the great state of Mississippi. From crappie fishing up north, to throwing frogs for bass while dodging alligators, to fishing and living life on an uninhabited island, to enlisting dolphins to help us find giant redfish. The fishing here is always an experience. Big old shark! And while I could leave you with thoughts about the variety of species here, or the incredible southern cuisine, or the rich history found throughout the Magnolia State, in the end, it's the people here that have had the biggest impact on Brooks and me. <laughs> We've toured this state twice so far, and we haven't come across a single stranger. Just friends that we hadn't met yet. So if you're planning a family vacation or a fishing trip with your buddies, yep. trust me when I say that you do not want to miss out on Mississippi. Feeling fine.